Hi guys, today I wanted to share a haul with you. It's been a long time since I put up a video and I'm finally back from vacation. My trip to New York was awesome. It was a little long, but it was awesome. I had a great time with my friends and family and I'm back home now. So I'm trying to get back into a regular schedule with my filming. So expect to see a lot more films coming up. Um, also, just an update on my project life. I left off on April. I did pre-record May. I wasn't able to upload it when I was in New York, so I will do that within the next three or four days. So expect to see that soon. Like I said, I did record it quite a while ago, but I still want to share it with you guys. And then you can expect each week in October for me to do a different month. So for example, I'll be doing June, July, August, and September until I'm completely caught up, which is my goal for the end of October. Um, I have another trip coming up in the beginning of November. It is a much shorter trip. It's only a long weekend, four day weekend to Kansas City, but I'm really excited about it. And my goal is to have all my project life caught up prior to that trip. So it's going to be a lot of work, but I plan on doing it. And I do have a couple of just random things. Um, I have a lot of haul videos that are gonna be coming up. I ordered a lot of stuff with Halloween coming up because I'm a total Halloween junkie. So I have a lot of Halloween stamps and dies coming up and just supplies in general. Um, I also have a awesome happy mail video coming up soon. Um, I also have, uh, let's see, I also wanna do the scrapbookers questionnaire uh, video that I was tagged by Rashida. I wanted to do that while I was in New York. It didn't work out. I kind of wanted to show some stuff when I was answering the question, so I didn't want to put it up while I was in New York. It was kind of hard to film at my mom's house. And so I have that coming up. So a lot of fun stuff coming up, so just expect that. So on to the haul video. Um, this haul is from scrapbookwarehouse.com. I will put the link below. This place is probably my favorite place to shop online for scrapbook supplies. I just feel that their prices are the best. I love their prices. I'm always happy with my packages. I've never had any trouble with them or any issues. And I really hope they stay around because I know a lot of places are starting to shut down. And I hope this is one of the places that survives because I pretty much buy everything I possibly can from them. They're my first choice for shopping online. And then if they don't have an item, then I'll look elsewhere. Okay, so what I purchased in this haul is all of the Tim Holtz Distress Inks. Yes, I got all of the mini Distress Inks. Now, I do have several of the regular size Tim Holtz Distress Inks but I do not have all of them and I guess I just fell for the whole mini craze and just couldn't handle it anymore and broke down and ordered all of them. The prices were the best on this website so definitely check them out if you're interested in purchasing them and basically they come in four packs which I think are really cool and the packs are numbered in the bottom right hand corner so for instance this is number one and so this is one through six, and this is seven through 12. So I have all of the different colors. I also picked up some of the mini distressing storage tins because these things are just so cute and adorable. And um, I believe you can do three rows of four. So one, three of these will fit in each tin. So I purchased four of them. I didn't want to run out of space. So I got all four of the tins. And I think these are going to be awesome for me because my storage space in my, in my scrapbook room is very, very limited. And I think this is my solution to my distress inks because I do want to have them all. But at the same time, I do not have the storage for all of these sizes. Plus, they don't stack as nicely um, as they store in this tin. Uh, I also like the round blending phones. I picked up some of those. I did have one other pack that I've already opened and put in a Ziploc bag, but I purchased another. What I like about these is these phones, once you have one of them out, they fit nicely in the bottom of this. And I was having trouble of how to store these foams in here. I would have had it through double-sided tape. They weren't staying. It caused the inks not to be able to stack properly. And not only that, these are a lot more money than these. Basically for 
the price that I paid for some of these, just a few more dollars and I got a whole pack of four. So I just felt that it was more economical for me to have the smaller ones. They're easier to work with and they're just fun and really cute and I had to have them. <laughs> and I have two of the round blending tools. Now I used to have the rectangular one and I heard so many great things about everybody saying that the round ones are the way to go because it reduces lines and blends easier so I'm really looking forward to this. So that is everything that was in this haul guys and like I said there is a lot of fun stuff coming up so stay tuned and I wanted to say hi to all of my new subscribers that I got while I was gone and I have a ton of giveaways coming up as well too so everybody stay tuned and I promise there's going to be lots of things going on here on my channel and lots of fun stuff. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!